this is really you know, his main thing as well that he needs to do is, is kind of follow wherever Frisky's going. If he sees he's leaving the lane, you just need to try and scout out his positioning. We'll look to TPR. Has the recognition. There's no skill level in the snowball. Top lane. Yamich is in a bit of trouble. Erica going for that time dilation. One more right click. Gets a bash for good measure. And secures first blood. Two games in a row. Vici Gaming have been able to find first blood. Pulls on Virtus Pro and realizing that Yamich didn't really have too much was uh, going to be able to back off effectively. And there's a healing salve as well coming through for him on the Faceless Void. So he'll be just fine. Oh, well, oh. maybe not. <laughs> All right. Beautifully done. Yamich with the lane ward. Just two points decay and a soul rip. There was no creeps nearby. I was not expecting it to do that much damage, but now he's got level four to... Oh, I was going to say, he's not going to... He's got no mana to go for the dive, does he? Hang on, Yang's going to be cautious. Very cautious. Yang's going to be cautious. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He, uh, he wanted the free TP, you know, at their performances so far, but they are a bunch of hugely individually skilled players, and GPK just showing us why. Even Look at just, top lane. Oh. The support rotation. Frisk got a TP in, and Yakoda, he's already made the rotation as well. They're going to go straight to Erika. Glimpse back, and GPK is going to look to show up as well. He's got the level 6. The, the extra damage, incredibly important here for them to secure both the kills, and they're not even done because Yamich is yet to drop the tombstone as Frisk will be chased down behind the tier 1 tower. This is a completely different look at Virtus Pro in game 2. Yeah, that's the way that you're going to win this game on Virtus Pro is giving GPK a ton of farm. He's even got this double bounty runes as well. What a start! Oh, uh, oh, uh, maybe. Erica has used a lot of mana here for the Storm Spirit. And XM's got a haste as well. GP All right, well, GPK is going to go down. Oh, no, it's looking so good, but not to be. Rancid will try and play around with the horn to get the kill onto Yang. They'll finally get the finishing blow, but XM, the cleanup crew with a sniper haste, they're trying to TP out. XM with the assassinate stops him short as Ramses will not live to see another day. Just that instant change over to get the mini stun from the assassinate. Making sure that he's not able to get that TP away for BAB to be able to play around and push in with his Eidolons. Yeah. yeah, they're looking to try and use the first black hole of the game. They've got the Vlad, so if they get the kill, it's going to be a lot of damage to be pumping to the tower. Yeah, I mean, more top lane for the moment. Undying's going to be killed off on the other side of the map and to back down to bottom is DM. Oh, he's the one. Ah, it's a more valuable kill here out of Ichi game. You love to see it. Two movements coming out from them. The ganking squad from bottom to top they go as Vici find a double kill. And they didn't even need to use the black hole for that one either. Just that full-on rotation. Caught him inside a perfect ice shards. Frisk having another great game. Yang. Inside the river, GPK. Trying to pick up the double damage rune. Not going to be Ooh. fast enough. Beautiful zip. And the glimpse away. Oh no, Eric is back to top. At least XM's nearby. So he'll get usage out of keeping Hakoda stuck inside the bubble. But GPK, some quick reactions means the Storm Spirit will live. And he's doing his damnedest to try and will them across the line. Hide Hunter, you're pretty happy with that. And DM, he's farming up the jungle for now. That's just more for an efficiency thing. But I really see him starting to play up uh, away and more towards the mid lane and start to get usage out of the Ravage and just how tanky he is. Oh, Hakoda with the wraparound. Instantly stepping in with a static storm. Ramses has the plus one as well. They're going to try and blow up XM on the sniper. It's a difficult task at the moment. XM's relatively tanky with the stat, but finally they'll bring him down. And it looks like Virtus Pro need to get out once they've claimed the grand prize of XM's life. Yeah, they backed off once they saw BAV and TP'd in, though. That Vlad's plus the threat of the black hole is uh, too much to be able to just TP smoke for Virtus Pro. And that feels kind of weird to say, considering you're going up against a Spectre lineup. But again, if you're going against Faceless Void and Enigma and Sniper, those are three <laughs> super scary late game carries. Gang, I don't think you're going to make it out of this time. Even with the XM off to the right side, they will TP BAB down just in case a further fight breaks out. But nothing will occur here. You just what see the we... difference there. Even though Snapfire, of course, strength hero, but you don't naturally build into those items that try and tank you up, and you also don't have those same saving mechanisms, let's oh, call it. Erica, Krona onto the disruptor. Not wanting to try and mess around and allow Shakota to live with his own life, and 
Well, Fritz will even need to step in to help out the Faceless Void. So at least Erica gets up to a dominating streak. But I wonder with the crew, it's not like they're going to be able to get a, a kill or potentially an objective off the back of this. BAB mid lane, threatening with the black hole. They're going to try and drop it in the end. Let's see if they have the damage. Yanks point blank here with the cookie, but Yamage's position will keep DM healthy. They're finally going to drop the Mortimer Kisses, but Frisk kind of follow up as well for the stun control, but it's not enough. DM will be able to stay alive. And Nemo under the T1 tower. Rams is in combination with GPK. Will be able to deal with the sniper. They'll turn to Eric and X as well. The time look providing bonus. One pick off under the tusk is enough to bring down Roche. And it looks like that might be the case. You're going to just pop the bonus. You're going to use the shrapnel for it. DM. Oh, they need position. a way to get in. Finally, Kiss is going to come out, but it's too late. Ages are being claimed down. What's the call for Virtus Pro? Do they want to take the team fight? Static Storm well, along with the Ravage, but Eric is able to pop the BKP. But the big issue is the Enigma has been called out to start the fight. They won't have the Black Hole to turn this around. As DM's alone for the moment, Virtus Pro, do they want to leave him? And it looks like that's going to be the case. They'll cut their losses with the Tide Hunter. Recognizing with the ultimates expended, with the Aegis claimed, they are happy with what they've gotten out of the thing. Spectre could potentially... Oh, long zip in from GPK. A PKP is going to be forced out. Rams are going to look to jump as well onto XM, but with VG Gaming playing behind the sniper... XM should be okay for the moment. DM's waiting for an angle to jump in, and he finds it now. Ravage onto three. Ramses has the flop as well as XM's in trouble. Completely surrounded under the tower, and Virtus Pro finally cracked the sniper's life. He's considering wanting to go back in on GPK with that Aegis just KB picked up for him, unless it's coming out on the Courier right now, which it's not. It's the Aghanim Scepter on the Storm Spirit. So he's just going to be zipping back, forth, here, there, everywhere, trying to push the hero to its limits with the Soul Ring. Ichi Gaming aggressive blink from Frisk. They're on to the disrupt. They're going to be able to blow him up. Meme inside the middle of the fight. GPK's in trouble. The Chronos for out. Look at the damage. XM on the low gun. Pumping in all the right clicks required to kill off GPK. I just didn't have all the boys there. And they know there's no back. Hawk either. Frisk. Tombs are just in the middle where no one can protect it. They're going to also see the yep. Tidon throw off the right side to BAB. No messing around. The solo use of the black hole. Recognizing the Kraken shell will have no effectiveness against the ultimate. And Avertus Pro at three against five. Re Nothing at all. Second Roche. Eric is even actually going to jump on forward. Yamage playing with the BKB. Frisk is going to be cautious. BAB even trying to get in the midst of it all. Virtus Pro, they are respawning shortly. They've got a tier one tower they can TP to, and GPK is going to zip in the middle. A double vortex, but the follow up's not there until Ramses can rejoin, thanks to the ultimate. Is going to try and bring down the sniper, but they're unable to get on top of XM for the moment. And now GPK is out of mana, trying to get close to the regen, but Frisk was stopping <laughs> him short as Vici Gaming. Bring down the storm. They get the Spectre as well. And XM continues to reign supreme. Just your day. Some of the team cohesion can be not quite there. Frisk finds them out. the T2 tower. On the DM once again. Oh, the Tidehunter. Get some distance with the four stuff. Eric is still going really proud. Meanwhile, XM though, he's completely isolated. He's got under the boys nearby to provide the space for the sniper to stay alive. A big kill for Virtus Pro to find. And now they can look to target down Erica. A glimpse to drag him back. GPK's back in alive as well. Ravage from DM, stopping the retreat. As Virtus Pro, they want more blood. Jarmage with the ore chat as well. VP are hungry for kills. True needed for them to potentially come out on top in the team fight. And Vici Gaming, they're not home at the moment. They don't have this higher ground control. Smoke's gonna I pop. TPK, him. guess who is on? Onto the sniper, but XM, where'd he go? He Into the snowball. snowball. XM is protected for the moment. The BKB is onto GPK over the left side as well. They're gonna try and target down the storm trip. They've got the damage to blow him up, but still XM is completely oh, isolated until BAB jumps in with the black hole, but sniper will still go down. The buybacks are coming out for Vici Gaming. They've got to be cautious though. It's a heavy investment into the team fight and they don't have the ultimate to come out on top in round two and it's Virtus Pro will charge on forward over to Erica next blocked inside the shards XM to the northern side they need to get on top of the sniper and Yamich recognizes his role blink directly over to XM to the rest of the team they're not following up and XM just freely pummeling him from the northern side look at the damage from the sniper triple kill for XM and they don't have the response they don't have the response and Roshan up in 14 seconds so that's yeah. it.
and instantly with the blink as well because he recognizes how difficult it is going to be for the disruptor to get into the middle he's not going to be able to get Ooh, Ooh, Ramses, Ramses. Ra Ramses. Let's see if he's going to be taking off the rest of Ertis Pro. They're starting to move bottom. A long zip in as well from GPK. They've shown up in the nick of time to keep the Spectre alive. And now GPK is going to turn to Yang as well. But they haven't gone on top of the Sniper. So XM can just pummel into GPK with the help of the Black Hole. Locking him down. BP, it was a tricky play. Ramsey's went for it, just trying to bring down Frisch. Those lanes with the Decay. And if you get Reincarnation, then again... You use the black hole, you use the chronosphere, he's right back in it. Uh, VP cannot keep losing these observer wards. You need a place to take a team fight. They might look it. attempt now with the double damage rune. Gonna zip him. Make sure they don't group up because the Black Horse at the ready. BAB off to the right side, but they brought down the snap fire. Yamich stuck in the middle, but the static storm! It's onto the face. It's void, but BAB is gonna try and move him forward, but he went straight into the static storm. So BAB steps out of the right, lays down the ultimate, but the ravage stops him short, and now they're on to XM. He's pushing them back and forth. The concussive grenade to get some distance. The tentacles to hold them down, but no one's right by clicking the sniper as VT Gaming. Multiple heroes buying back to look to take the team fight. Yamich off to the right. They will not be able to cancel the TP. And none lanes getting shoved out. This would be good avenue. VP, they're going to stick around here because VT Gaming positioned as well. XM's really far forward. Oh, they just TP'd away on the tusk as well. The save is gone. And Yamich, DM. they got the high ground vision. They see exactly where XM is. And look at DM with the Ravage. Sets up for the static storm. The double Ravage as well. It's VT out of the count. They can surround on the second. Roche, but to the northern side by the pit. They'll deal with the Enigma. And Erica, he's by himself. VT Gaming, they're starting to rejoin the fight. It's just sure, that's, that's where you come into play. <laughs> Dude, Yamish is he's jumping Tim so leisurely. This guy does not give a damn. GPK? A zip in onto Erica. Static Storm as well. Faces Void. He needs help and he's not going to get it. And DM is ready. Ready to go Ooh. with the second round of the Ravage off to the left side. They need a way to get onto XM and DM. Wind Waker. attempt it. But a BKB buying XM some time. The Wind Waker now inside the black hole. So the Spectre, they're trying to continue to pummel into Ramses, but somehow they haven't got the damage. Erica tries to get into the middle. Finally, the Chronosphere's out. Clipping onto the Storm Spirit. Where's the damage coming through? XM. XM's in trouble, trying to get away with the Silver's Edge, like a constant grenade as well. XM just forced to stand his ground. The mana were mana, but they'll secure the kill. And a Virtus Pro go to Frisk. Three down without a buyback. This might be all she wrote as Virtus Pro will send us to a game three. What a final fight to do it. BAB will drop and Erica the sole survivor, but not for long as Jesus had dropped. And Virtus Pro will do it. Oh, and you... smile as well for good measure. Just the Eastern Europe smile. You love to see it. And it's coming through GPK for mine, MVP of that game. I was mentioning it before that it felt like he needed to do everything. I was talking about damage previously, but the first Wind Waker save on the first black hole, he refreshes specifically just to use Wind Waker a second time onto Ramses. All of that additional survivability means you get much more value coming out. And look at the difference between the VP and the Vici rooms. They're just having a look.